Will here, farm manager at Verticroft. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how to formulate a sheep ration and what it's all about. A ration is essentially the quantity of feed that's being fed to your livestock in a 24 hour period. When taking the ration into consideration, it's very important that it be a balanced ration and that it should be balanced in terms of protein, energy, minerals, and vitamins. The reason why feeding a balanced ration is so important is because if the rations you're feeding are not balanced, it will be very difficult to meet your animal's nutritional requirements. And it could even mean, if it's not balanced correctly, that you're even exceeding those requirements. And that could lead to other issues. When it comes to setting up your ration that you are going to feed to your sheep, it's important to take five different nutrients into account. First off, you have water or moisture content, energy, protein, vitamins, and lastly, minerals. These five categories of nutrients will essentially be the building block that form part of your ration, which you would supply to your animal. When formulating your sheep ration, there's a few things that you need to take into consideration. For instance, it's important to keep the ration simple because the sheep's nutritional needs are easily met if the ration is set up easily. Because by keeping the ration simple, this allows for the workforce to easily feed it to the animals or even do the mixing of the feed. When you're making your sheep's ration too complex, it doesn't really mean that you would enhance the performance of the animal at all. If you have complex rations, uh, in turn, you could either exceed the requirements or just make it a lot harder for yourself to do ration adjustments. It's important for farmers to understand what their feed's composition is. Because by knowing the composition of each individual ingredient that you want to use to form part of your total ration that you're going to feed to your sheep, it allows you to know what the different nutrients are composed within that feed. It's important to keep in mind that rations should be formulated on a dry matter basis, especially if you're going to add silage or wet feed material to your rations. The next thing that you need to keep in mind is, is the breed, because different breeds have different physical and physiological limitations beyond which dry matter intake cannot go. The dry matter intake of sheep are affected by many factors, such as the body of the animal, which production cycle the animal is on, uh, whether it be pregnant or lactating. It could also be affected by the palatability, texture, or bulkiness of the diet that you're feeding your animal. When formulating your ration, choose the same measure of units for the nutritional requirements and feed composition. For instance, for protein, either crude protein or digestible protein. For energy, look at totable digestible energy or metabolizable energy or net energy. Meeting your animal's nutritional requirements is very important, but it's also important to remember that these nutritional requirements all depend greatly on the animal's age, the breed, the size of the animal, and the physiological requirements and production cycle the animal finds itself in. So to give a simple example, more mature sheep would have higher nutrient requirements than for instance lamb or smaller or younger animals. Another example would be lactating or pregnant sheep want more nutrients than dry animals. Young, growing, pregnant or lactating animals sometimes want more protein than older, empty or dry animals. In some cases, it's good to supply lactating sheep with a source of phosphorus as they need it during this time. The energy component of your sheep's ration is the main driver of the animal's performance. So animals get energy from either hay, pasture, or grains. And then there are other types like oils. When it comes to protein requirements, if the protein requirements of the sheep's not met, what could happen is there is a deterioration in their muscle tissue because this is caused by the shortfall of protein that they are not receiving. Low protein can lead to slow or no growth of wiener lambs. Um, it could lead to low production in milk for mothers that need milk for their lambs. And it could also lead to higher risks of disease. Next up, you have uh, mineral requirements. So for the main part, sheep require sulfur, phosphorus, 
and calcium. When they receive these minerals, it would help them keep strong, healthy, and maintain a nice coat. They can receive these different minerals from either mixture to their feed in the form of supplementation, or it could be added to their drinking water. As I've said before, it's very important to feed your sheep a balanced ration. When it comes to balancing your ration, there are five specific things that you need to look out for. Number one is describing the animals that you want to feed. Number two is looking up those animals feed and nutritional requirements. Three is determining the feed stuff that are available to you. Fourth would be to determine the composition of that feed. And fifth would be to balance that ration either by hand or through the use of a computer. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, I hope now you know how to formulate a ration for your sheep. If this video was useful to you, please like and subscribe.